Hi, I'm John from Accio. We make it incredibly easy to leverage the power of AI in your daily business tasks. Today, I'm going to walk you through building and deploying a machine learning model in just a few minutes. No data science or software experience needed. After you've created your free Accio account and verified your email, you'll be taken to the Flow dashboard. A flow is an end-to-end -end machine learning model. You can see some example flows to explore, but let's build our own. We'll click Create New Flow, and we'll name the flow Demo. Each flow begins with a training set of data that will be used to build the model. We'll start by selecting the input table and you can go ahead and upload any data set that's in CSV, Excel, or JSON format. We'll choose this direct mail data set that I've already uploaded. This is a data set that captures the results of a bank's direct mail campaign. You can see it contains 41,000 records, including the demographic information the bank has on each customer and whether or not they subscribe to a service offered in the campaign. We're going to use it to build a model that lets us focus our future mailers on those customers who are most likely to subscribe. Accio automatically detects the information type in each one of your columns, numbers, categories, dates, or text. The last column in this data set contains the historic information of whether or not customers have subscribed. Now that we've uploaded our training data set, let's build a predictive model. Simply click Add Step and then select Predict. The prediction screen will show you all of the variables in your data set that you can build a neural network to predict. We're interested in predicting whether or not a customer will subscribe to a service, so we'll select subscribed, and then we'll click create predictive model. Accio will automatically train the model using 80% of the data you uploaded and withhold 20% of the data as a validation set. When we conclude the training of the network, We'll run the validation set against the network to create a results field here, which will show you how accurately we're able to build a model to predict your outcomes. In the case of this direct campaign, we're able to see that we are very accurate at predicting whether or not a customer will subscribe, 91.2%. Prospects the model predicts are likely to subscribe do so 468% more often than average. We don't catch them all, but I'll show you in the next step how to stack rank them and draw the right line on maximizing the return on your mailer. Now that we've built the model, let's deploy it. Add a step, scroll down and choose an output. You can deploy via web app, Zapier or API. Many more output integrations are coming soon. For this example, let's deploy via web app. The web app deployment will create a custom web page that you can use to run different future examples against your model to see whether or not they'd subscribe. There's some customization options around which fields will be included for the manual input, but since that will take a long time to do, we'll make sure to turn on allow bulk upload. And we'll also add showing probability so we can look and see the actual probability the model thinks any given new customer will be a subscriber. That's it. Simply click deploy in the top right And you can choose go to the live app. We've created a custom website that's dedicated as an endpoint to the model you just trained. You can go through the form and fill it in by hand, selecting some variables. You can leave some blank and click predict. And you can get your model results at the bottom that will show you for this example, it does not think the user will subscribe and the probability that they will not subscribe is 76%. But of course, that would take much too long to do against a large set of prospect leads. So the best answer is to upload a bulk set of data via this upload button. To use the bulk upload, you simply need to upload data in the same format that you use to train the model. That means the column titles need to be in the same order and have the same text in them. And you can leave the information in the subscribed blank, of course, because we don't know it yet. If you need, you can download an example CSV. Here I have a data set called New Leads, which includes 500 new potential leads for the direct mail campaign with the correct headers in the right order, but the subscribed column is left blank. Let's upload that to the model 
and look at the predictions. So we'll click Upload. We'll select that data set of new leads and just go ahead and open it. You can track the progress on the upload. At the top, you'll see that it's predicting and preparing the results. And then when it's completed, you'll see a preview of the predictions. We can scroll over to the right and see what it's predicted for a few of the records, or we can simply download the CSV with all of the predictions filled in. Let's take a look. Now you can see that for the predictions, we filled in no or yes for each one of them, and we've included the probability that they will subscribe to the service. To optimize who we send our mailers to, let's turn a filter on this probability column and sort in descending order. Out of this 500, you can see that the model thinks around 25 of them are likely to subscribe to the service. But if you wanna be safe and make sure you don't miss any potential subscribers, you might go down to about a 30% probability of subscription before drawing the line and not sending a direct mailer. So that's it. Accio makes it incredibly easy to take any existing business data you have, train and deploy predictive models, and then use them to optimize your business results. If you have any questions, just click the chat window in the bottom right, and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks.